Okay, good evening everyone. It's been probably two days since I've done a, a video and I thought I'd do a quick one. Um, I've got to set my Pi to a different IP address than what I've got and I want it to be static. Now you can set the, the actual address in your router and that works quite fine but mine's not actually picking it up for some reason so I'm actually going to set this up. I've actually done it on another Pi um, but um, I've changed a couple of things to make it work with Google Home and I'm going to go through the, the script with that pretty soon. That'll be my next, probably my next video after I get it working because I want to know that I've got it working um, before I actually get, give you guys this information. Whoops, there's a battery. Battery's on its way um, so I won't be holding this up too long. So what we need to do is we need to unedit out all these these little bits here, static IP address, and then set them to what address you want to put it in here. So you don't want to play with the IP6 address because I'm not very very um, kosher with IP6. But your router addresses, you set it for your router, and your um, static IP address, you set it to the IP address you want. The slash 24 actually saves you from putting the um, the net mask in. It saves putting net mask into the actual information. This information down here, here's a Google server right there. that uh, It tells you where the domains are. So you set the domain and that's it, pretty much. And look what I've just done. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'll be setting that up and then I'll set up a Wi-Fi setup. So to change that, the Wi-Fi setup, you've got the E E T H zero, you've got W L A N zero or L A N one if you've got two Wi-Fi networks, and you set that to what the the same IP address as your your LAN setup, which is here. So in this case, it is set for one nine two one six eight dot one dot twenty three. And it has a sub mask of 255.255.255.0.0. And then all you have to do is adjust. This would be your router address. Of course, that's not my router address because mine's very strange um, because I have three routers in the house. And yeah, I've got like a couple of different things setting up. But that's, you know, not here nor there. I do a lot of strange things and with my routers and that's about it there is some other stuff i have to go through with you and that's mainly because i got the actual script working for um, my google home so far once i've transferred this to the right address my google home should be able to see it and all i have to do then is secure my node red and that's in um, the information i gave you before but i'm going to go over it again if you didn't uh, find that information and yeah I hope you're all having a great day I had a great day it's uh, spring here in Australia and uh, I just I went out and uh, checked out a field day today and um, yeah it was bloody hot anyway if you like this video please thumbs me up and please subscribe more to come and a lot more IOT stuff to come uh, I've ordered other stuff. Um, I'm waiting on it. I'm going to go through a spooner and get some information out of that so I can set it up because I was talking to a person the other day who's a good bloke over in America and he was looking at it and goes, oh, where's the instructions for this? And I said, well, I'm going to have to go through all the scripts to find the information myself and that's what will have to happen so that I can give the information to everyone else and that's great. And then I'll have it up here and I can look at it if I need it. Okay, I'll catch you guys around. Have a nice day.